I guess, how do we explain New Orleans, Louisiana, and the Mississippi River? Well, a long time ago, the Indians, because of the bounty, the water, the land, and the trees and all, and they settled it. So along come the Spanish explorers, and they realize that this beautiful great river and uh, they take note of it and they explore North America. When the French get antsy, they realize this is the place to settle and control the Mississippi River Valley. With that, the French settle and we begin a colony here in 1718. Mm -hmm. And Iberville and Bienville and the Moyne brothers put together this, this colony privilege my family got here at that time period too. And uh, I believe my ancestor was a captain, a lieutenant in the regiment, mm -hmm. and he came here and our family settled here. Now, my last name is Delery, but the real name of our family is Chauvin, C-H-A-U-V-I-N. Mm -hmm. And three brothers came here and they took on different names, Delery, De Lafayette, and Bolio. They took on different names? Yes, and I'll show you on the mm -hmm. wall here in the plaque about it. Okay. So we were part of the French settlement of Louisiana. Mm -hmm. And obviously in time it went French, Spanish, and back from Spanish to French, and, and then Napoleon, I think, needed a little cash, so he sold Louisiana to a very smart colonist, Thomas Jefferson. Mm -hmm. And Jefferson realized the value of Louisiana. Not only was it the entrance in the Gulf of Mexico in this great river, but it really was the waterway. All of a sudden, he really, Louisiana Purchase, which was, uh, I think, in what, 18... Correct. <laughs> and then the Battle of New Orleans was 1815, and we kind of put that as the really the test of time, because uh, New Orleans was saved from being overtaken by the British. But anyway, Andrew... Uh, Jackson came down, he had defended New Orleans, but Thomas Jefferson had a vision mm -hmm. of how great the Mississippi River would be. Original colony here was more of a fort, and it was more of, you know, soldiers and colonizing, but we hear the real development of Louisiana came as the Germans came with their families and settled. Mm -hmm. And then in time, we had other Europeans that came in. We have a great ancestry of uh, the Spanish as well. But then we had the Irish. The Irish were responsible. They came over as indentured servants. We had the uh, Africans that came over and worked the plantations. Mm -hmm. And the Irish did a lot of building here. They worked on the docks. And then we had what would be considered our Italian immigration, but the truth be known, they weren't Italians, they were Sicilians. Mm. So here in New Orleans, you say to somebody, you're Italian, they look at you and go, no, no, we're really Sicilians. <laughs> As each culture came in, it not only brought someone from another part of the world, but it brought something that makes New Orleans most unique. Mm -hmm. And here in New Orleans, we have this great soup called gumbo. And it's all these different parts that come together and form a single soup, mm -hmm. that gumbo. And today, we refer to the gumbo of our cultures, we're white, we're black, we're Asian, we're Hispanic, we're European, mm -hmm. you know, we're Russian, we're Vietnamese. This gumbo, this difference, is what really makes us unique. Mm -hmm. And the Mississippi River was that tool. It was the super highway of commerce. Mm -hmm. It is also, as in 1984, uh, the World's Fair, the theme of it was fresh water, the source of life. Mm -hmm. 
So that has been critical for us, having the abundant fresh water. Fresh water seafood, we have salt water, and, and really the, the important thing here is where that fresh water meets the salt water in the oceans. And we refer to that water as the brackish water. And that is really the wound of our seafood. Mm -hmm. And so that gives us our shrimp, our crabs, our oysters, mm -hmm. and our fish. And we just really have an abundance. And then something I, I learned recently about the French settlers. The French, unlike the British, the British would settle and just eat British food. Mm -hmm. They'd eat the same old boring <laughs> I guess storage and porridge, we would call it. <laughs> well, the French were different. They went somewhere and they learned how to eat the food of that country or that region. Mm -hmm. And then they employed their techniques, their cooking styles, and all. So that's why, you know, you say, well, why did the French have this great food and the British didn't? So there was a little thing. So culture is really one of the most critical things to us is this blending. And, 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 uh, so to be different, in my mind, is what makes us so unique. We're New Orleanians, Louisianans, but I think all of us, at some point in our lives, realize that this water, this great river we have, is really the fabric. It's a soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.